in just the stroke of the pen, a matter of months, James Knox Polk increased the size of the United States by about 60%. Seed is John E. C. And he became incredibly popular. And he doesn't get a lot of credit for that, not for James. Probably at the time, it, we came time to him to run for re-election. People said, you have to run. You have you're this popularity. Both sides want you to run. He said, well, I'm not running. I said, I was only going to run four years. Yes, clear for four years. I've served my four years. I'm going home. And he went home and sat on his porch in Tennessee and rocked me. Died of cholera in 30 days. It's interesting how that works out. It's, uh, I also found the railroad, he had $18 billion in 1820 that came out of the first five years of the gold rush, which the fact that was discovered just days before this treaty actually was finalized, I think was just a stroke of luck. And that money fueled the development of the West Coast and really the United States for some time. It, 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 was, it was a lot more money than people realized. And there were, the estimate, these are, have to take with a grain of salt, that 300 to 500,000 people came to California in the gold rush, which was the biggest migration of its type in, in, in world history. Yes. And some people say it's much really closer to the lower end of that. And I, most of them didn't stay. And so only a portion of that actually went to pay in for gold. The others went to become ranchers and farmers and merchants and stuff. And some say that at top, there was 150,000 that actually paying for gold, at least a little bit. Hmm. And so if you divide up that $18 billion, that's $120,000 each in 2012 dollars. And that's why it was such a transformative event, the gold rush, and why it supported these huge change that exactly took the whole U.S. out of a depression. And but when you, we, we translate that, it's important to understand that the purchasing power of things was very different than manufactured goods were very expensive. And like guns and stuff were probably more expensive then, but food items like beef were very much cheaper. So the purchasing power was a different kind of analysis. But anyway, it's, I said, it's an enormous amount of money 